posted the agenda in three public places, right, and on the website, and emailed it interested parties for the select board meeting in the town of Rochester in August 26, 2024. And um, <clears throat> here we go. I would like to start with the minutes from the prior meeting of August 12th. And I read through them. I didn't see any corrections. There was just one typo. The word waste was missing the S. Oh, hazardous okay. Hazardous waste. Everything okay. else is fine. Thanks. Not a hazardous typo. No. So I'd move to approve those. I second that. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, okay. And we have um, the um, not a whole lot on the agenda today, but we have um, the uh, July's treasurer report. Thank you, Kristen, once again, putting yeah. that together. Julie okay. and I, it's, a, it's our group effort. Group effort, yeah. So I'd move to approve that. I second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. We got that. And we have, um, we have the need to form a committee for the local hazard mitigation planning grant. Um, they're recommending four or five people. Megan Asbury is a planner with Two Rivers Ottaquichi Regional Planning Commission that is going to be working with us on the LHMP and she's thinking of a kickoff in early September and um, wondering if we have a team of four to five people in, in mind that could be include members of the Select Board, Planning Commission, Energy Commission, road crews, general public, etc. Do we have anyone that's um, I think that um, Larry Pleasant was one person that I know that, that um, mentioned interest in, in that. Mm -hmm. So I put him There's on. There's one. That. There's <laughs> one. <laughs> Don't look at me. Don't look at you. Now you're too busy. Town, yeah. town roads, would that include Cooter or Road Commissioner? Or? I, can, I can be on it, too. All right, there's two. Yeah. Um, Probably ought to have somebody from the fire department mm -hmm. to. Can you speak for that tomorrow at your meeting? Um, yeah, it's a work meeting, so oh. I'll do my best to see what I can get. Um, I'll talk to the officers. You know, see if we can get somebody to volunteer for that. Yep. I'll be submitting um, these names with contact information to Megan, who will reach out to everybody as well, I'm sure. Okay, do we have a date on that when we have to have She didn't set a, a date yet, but I think just gathering if we um, okay. sent her a, a list of names and contact information, then she'd probably work on setting a date together. And, yep. <coughs> um, I guess we um, could have that. In the paper, Martha, if um, anyone is interested in, in being involved with the local hazard mitigation planning, um, we all know that what that means, right? Is try and guess what's going to yeah. happen next and, and anticipate so what we could do to offset that. Should I, should I say that they should just call the town office? Yeah. Or what should I say? Yeah, the town office okay. would be good. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And, um, but yeah, I think having reaching out to someone on the fire department is a good idea, yeah. yeah. Is it okay if you, if I mention the two suggestions you had, Larry Pleasant and Frank Savory volunteered? I haven't been told yet. Um, I would, I would um, wait until see what we have. If people are looking at it on Zoom or reading the minutes, they'll, they'll know that anyway. But it's, um, I'd wait till we have a full committee to... For okay, I'll side. just say yeah. that, that you're, that you're looking for volunteers. Yeah. And, and they yeah. should get yeah, qualified volunteers. Yeah. What do we need, like four or five people? Yeah, four I guess. or five, yeah. We're looking for four or five volunteers, yeah. would be great. All right. Okay, Duke. Okay, thank you. Um, we have um, a um, kind of a big deal event coming up. It's, this, it's the 250th year anniversary of the founding of the town of Rochester? No. The no. State of Vermont. The State of Vermont. Oh, I thought it was Rochester. <laughs> the State of Vermont. So but it's not me? such a big deal then. I'll come later. Yeah. 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 Would, you see, would you have some thoughts on that, Nancy? Um, uh, yes, I believe we do. We have sort of polled members of the Historical Society um, 
to get some feeling of their interest, and I am not gathering a lot of interest in, in getting involved in it. This is a statewide project, and the town is going to have to support it with a budget for fiscal 26. Oh, isn't there funding somewhere for that? There'll be, there'll be some minor f funding from the state. Okay. But if the town wants to participate in this, they have to complete this form and submit it to the committee, the state committee, and they'll decide whether they approve it or they don't approve it. Is there a date on that when it's supposed to Very be? soon. Very soon. That maybe there, yeah. there was people interested in the community that interested in putting something together. That, putting know. something together for for when? Well, for we, what? For what? They don't they have so, so, we could, I don't know. We it's, could have. Um, it's the 250th of the state. Right. Uh, there, is there going to be a big celebration at the state I think house? it's statewide. Yeah. Statewide. And they're trying to generate a lot of interest statewide. Um, there are historical societies that are small and big. Mm -hmm. Ours mm -hmm. is very small. Could maybe have a float in the 4th of July parade celebrating that. Well, I think we're thinking that we would rather wait until um, 2031 when it's the town's 250th. Well, that's what I thought. Mm. <laughs> I, it's so it would be easier to make a bigger deal meet. out of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yeah, for we us, it's a small town. If Martha saying something. Go ahead, Martha. I was just saying, I'm sorry, I'm confused. I thought you initially were saying that you wanted to do something for the for um, the Vermont 250th for the town, but now it sounds like maybe you want to wait to do something for Rochester's 250th? Well, we're still talking well, about that's it. That's where the conversation just turned, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think that we, as officers of the society. historical yeah. society, yeah. We feel waiting for the 250th of the town, which would be 2031, um, would have more bearing here. Mm -hmm. We could probably do more at that point. Do, do they have a certain date set out for this, or what's the actual yeah, date? No, it's all over. It's, it's the just, whole year. Oh, just for the whole year. I they were saying yeah. Um, so the criteria for the event is increase relevance of the 250th history by expanding historical narratives to include a greater diversity of perspectives and experiences. That's the strategic plan strategy. Utilize resources from other states and past commemorations. Connect national history to regional and local events. Develop programming, increase school participation, promote arts and cultural heritage, relate to the anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence and the formation of the USA. Increase public awareness of 250th commemoration. Highlight the role of Vermont's military experience during the Revolutionary War. Highlight the role Vermonters played in the American Revolution. Encourage Americans to remember our past, celebrate the present, and look forward to a promising future. This is a form that has to be completed and submitted. And so what then is the, we have to attest plans? that the event is accessible, meeting all ADA <laughs> guidelines. Um, um, attest that we've read the criteria and that this event qualifies based on the commission event submission guidelines. So they, they keep talking about this event, and this event is a year long It's a long year long event. event it's, it that is. We're committing to being. To, um, I think that we let people celebrate that on their own, and when Rochester turns 250, we have a big party right here that we have control over. 
the only other. I know, that's my thought. Would you think the that I other. thought that too? <laughs> and do we also have a national 250th coming up? Um, 1776 was the year, the Declaration of Independence. So, it's so that, yeah, so that's two years from now. Yeah. So yeah. that's coming up too. That's coming up. I mean, the only thing I could see we could do about that would be to hang a big banner right across Route 100 that says, Happy Birthday, Vermont, 250th. Yeah. <laughs> that would be right, the only thing. Leave it up for a full year. <laughs> yeah, leave it up for a year. That's a pretty good idea. But will that fit their criteria? <laughs> well, you know, that would be the only I, thing. I guess it's a <laughs> little vague to me there with their, their criteria, their event. That's how, I mean, it's a... Um, you know, Nancy, the Historical Society could have a float in the 4th of July parade, in Dune's suggestion. Yeah, thought. I mean, we can do that even if we don't sign up for that. Yeah, exactly, but yeah. it's a thought. Yeah. Our problem with the Historical Society is garnering enough interest to, to do things. Yeah. And it all falls back on two or three people. And the two or three oh, people are home. getting tired. Mm -hmm. Right. So put that in the paper, Martha, with no, the no. Historical <laughs> Society is looking for more people. Oh, okay. There you go. Uh, can, I put in, can I put in that the Harvest Fair Committee needs more people, too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Thank you. Sorry to bother you guys. Sounds like the But we will, the we will continue to think about what we could do to celebrate locally the 250th of the country and the state. And the town. And then the town. Mm -hmm. I like Craig's idea. Just put it up and they just keep changing the year each time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, we'd have to find a place where we could stick it, though. It'd have to be somewhere in the middle of the, the town. Poles, What's that? Yeah, the hardware to the yeah, cafe. Yeah, that'd down. be the place to put it, wouldn't it? Roof to roof. <laughs> roof to roof. Oh. <laughs> you probably need permission Circle the from park the state with to it. go over the Route 100. Yeah, you probably yeah. do. <clears throat> yeah. you'd probably so anyway, anyway, that's the, the, the I would say that that's the feeling of the historical society, that we're not really in a position to take this on. Right, yeah. and there's there's no, like, no reenactment of any event. We didn't have any battlegrounds here. Um, I don't, I, you know. Not related to the war. We no. do have revolutionary <laughs> yeah. soldiers. Yeah, in the, in the graveyard. Yeah. Um, we could do so the that's the kind again. of thing that we could do something of and have it we available could, with oh, exhibits. Civil and, war. So I think this is good and raising the awareness yeah. that yeah. this is indeed the 250th year anniversary of the starting of Vermont, but do we need to contort ourselves to a, a state-organized um, agenda, which is very vague? Um, I'd say not. I don't think so either. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. I think we can do um, our own. Yeah. Can I make a suggestion? Excuse yeah. Me. Um, uh, Nancy, have you thought about, um, it's just a suggestion, I have no idea if they'd be able or willing to do it or not, but speaking to Dick and Dorothy for the players, maybe if some, at some point the players could get involved in doing some sort of little um, play co commemoration of this, you know. Martha, isn't that something you could do here on the board? I'm, I'm on the advisory board now. I don't attend the actual meetings because I can't get upstairs to the meeting room. They did a um, great job with the I Civil can, War. I can certainly, I can certainly mention that to, the, to them. I'm sorry. I, I should have not re suggested that you do it. Okay, forget it. So, um, yeah, um, I'm just reading this um, from the Vermont 250th Anniversary Commission. And it says here the following towns, villages, and cities have adopted a resolution to be part of the 250th anniversary commemoration thus far, and town of Rochester is in that list. Yeah, I, I believe yes, we did that. We did that. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, good so for this us. is another step they want us to like adopt. <laughs> Maybe now is just the time to ghost and just not. Say or do anything. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yep. I mean, we can exactly. say. We can start with, the, with the select board taking over and planning it. Mm -hmm. So we put some thought in there anyway. Certainly we have, did. We have the suggestion of a banner. 
I would suggest that when we list our open meeting law conformity things, we add to the, oh, and by the way, <laughs> this is the 250th year of the state of Vermont. Just Vermont. as a reminder. Do that. Okay. Um, Put that on our letterhead. Yes. <laughs> our station. Okay. So we really don't have to do, I mean, we'll do what people are inspired to do. That's um, right. Also the web, website. Yeah, you could have a little banner on that too, and I'd go right across that. Happy I mean. Okay. So we will be on an email list for announcements, so if something exciting does come up, we leave know about it and we can share that with the people Good. and um, it says please stay tuned for more updates. Um, we'll talk further about okay. the historical society okay. too. All right. Well, it's on the radar now. Um, we have um, uh, um, we had some bids or a bid for the mowing contract. You're talking about putting that off to the next meeting. Um, be, well, uh, we can open because it said in the bid packet that we'd open it, but we could but make, we a would make a decision later. Yeah, because yeah, okay. I didn't have it on here. I'm sorry about that. All right. Yep. So uh, we had um, one bid. From John Gordon, um, which I think we're um, lucky to have, and he's saying um, eighteen thousand per year to be paid three thousand dollars monthly for the summer contract, um, spring cleanup, or any additional work will be billed out hourly if needed, and for the plowing and snow removal, looking at nineteen thousand five hundred per year to be paid at thirty-two fifty per month, and so we will. Um, so now is the bidding closed now? So if we don't have so, all right. So we can um, we can, uh, it's not it wasn't on the agenda, so we could act on that at the next meeting. Okay. okay. Thank you, John, for being willing to continue with that. And we have. Is there anyone on Zoom from the library? Nope. Or Terry from utilities? Nope. How about Jeff Gephardt? Nope. Nope. We did a talk with him a lot last meeting. Kristen, what do you got for grant updates? I do have some updates. Um, so I've been working a bunch lately on the grant and aid reimbursement for the West Hill Bridge um, grant that we just completed. Um, I have one more check that goes out in this week's uh, batch of checks and that I need for the cash and then I can submit that for requisition. Um, we received the final reimbursement for the high school repurposing project. Um, that final reimbursement was 16937 and that grant is now closed. And on 820, we received the bond funds um, of 359243 um, as soon as that was deposited, I turned around and put that towards the tax anticipation note that we had with Mascoma. Mm -hmm. And then um, there was $175,061.61 that was left on the tax anticipation note. And we had received enough money in for taxes, so we just paid that off to get rid of okay, it. Okay, good. Because um, the interest on that was scary yeah. daily. Yeah. Um, so the tax anticipation note now is gone, gone too. Yep, so now we'll just be paying on the bond um, two times a year. And that's all I have. Good cool. job. Yeah. Cool. Kristen, how much do we pay each payment? For the bond? I couldn't even tell you. I have the schedule at my desk. Okay. Um, no. There's a payment due in November and then one in March. And one's just interest, and one's interest and penalty, and I, I'm not sure what those figures are. I'm sorry. And it's 20 year? 30. 30, 30 year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, got um, opportunity for public comment from the room or from Zoom? And the cameraman? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, that, well, um, is this a record? <laughs> no? Pretty close. Pretty close, pretty close probably. Pretty close. Well, um, there is one thing we should mention yep. that <clears throat> um, they are mowing roadsides at mm -hmm. present. So yeah, I saw that. 
that's that's something that's going on and John's still working on culverts and also I think he's on vacation this week I'd say but or at least took today off and the truck has been ordered to pick up mm -hmm. and we've got pretty much all the money that's paid for we used ARPA funds to pay for it a lot of it most of it so there's no loan no on that. loan on that yep and that ended our ARPA funds mm -hmm. so, so we successfully spent that money don't have to give any of it back right it's, it's spoken for it it's all spoken, spoken for it. not yeah. all of it's, it's been all spent. Been yeah broken down and spoken for yeah. we have yeah. some contracts that we need to get out to people yeah you'll see them next week because yeah. we have to do a signed resolution with this, um to send in for the ARPA mm -hmm. to finish everything right. yeah so there's a process to final to finalize Sarah Wright's been <clears throat> But we've done pretty well with what we did with the money, I think, anyway, personally. But no, it was a big help. We tried, yeah. It was, I don't know what we would have done without it, really, to be honest with you. Especially with the paving, yeah. you know. And they did the road, so, yeah. I would like to request that there be two constables here. The day, I think it's the 7th, when we have trash and recycling and we also have waste and this parking lot is going to be absolutely crazy I, I think we should call um, uh, the sheriff sheriff yeah because I I don't know exactly what the time frame is I should know a little bit more Thursday on when we're, they're going to start this wall construction. Mm -hmm. but if that's the case, there'll be the equipment in here too. <laughs> and it's going to be kind of a, it always turns into a big cluster. Yeah. And if we have some semi control, then it's at, at least a little safer for everyone. Mm -hmm. So I think can, uh, Dylan can't do it alone. To where they have to go, right? Yeah. The second okay. constable is out of state that weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we could get, I think, a more official line, then yeah. that would be good. I think to help Dylan out, I think that would be good. Of course, we need to ask Dylan too. So yeah. Right, Dylan, <laughs> Dylan and one of the sheriffs. Yeah. So but maybe you could talk to him about that. Do you mm -hmm. see him? Dylan or the sheriff? What? Julie can call the sheriff. Julie can yeah. call the sheriff. Yeah. But I've got yeah. one of their business cards, too. Yep. Yeah. Um, could I also just mention some? Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead, Martha. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that um, probably people who, who don't go down that way haven't noticed, but there's been a lot of work on going and redoing the skate space um, rink. Yeah. And um, it's it's, they got the, there were three. Um, um, they've worked on it for several weeks now, and there were, then the, there were three um, cement mixers in there today and a big crew, and it, they got all the cement in, and it's looking good, and they're going to rebuild. I talked to Norm Christensen tonight. They're going to um, um, put in some new benches around the sides and some a couple of picnic tables that I guess the supervisory union gave them some money for that. And um, they um, it's looking good. Anyway, he's going to let me know when they're ready to have any sort of you know, public thing about, you know, opening it up or anything yeah. um, so I can put something in the paper. But they really, he, he worked for several years on raising money for that. And yeah. um, it, it, uh, the crew has done a good job. And I just, um, I, you know, it'll be wonderful to have it for actual skating this winter because they couldn't skate last winter because it leaked so badly. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be, it'll be nice. Anyway, just right. thought I'd mention that. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Um. So along with the, the last, what we were talking about with the um, hazardous waste collection, aside from the logistics of all that, we should um, make it stress the point that this is an opportunity for people to get rid of old paint and hazardous stuff. As, um, a couple times a year this happens, and it's worth taking advantage of. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think the good thing about it is that you have to stay in your car. Yeah. Yep. And they just come and they get it. They just come and get it, yeah. yeah. What is that's this Saturday? That's the seventh. September seventh. Yeah. And oh, it's the same day as Harvest Fair then. Okay. Yeah. Well, town's to be busy. Yeah. Things. Um, and what's the <laughs> limit? How many you, you can do? It's like it, there's a limit. There's a limit. And it's written. 
Yeah, yeah they make it very clear on there. Um, I'll make I'll sure that it. I've included it once in our Friday email. I'll do it so again this Friday as a reminder. I, I can't. And it'll remember. probably they probably will put something in the paper too. I'll, they did put it in the paper, but yeah. I'll also include it on our website too. Yeah. All right. Well, if um, that's it, we're going to um, move to adjourn and pay some bills. I second that. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you for coming.